Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to you one and all. This is Little Daffodil coming to you today from Lord of the Rings Online. This game is one that I played quite a while ago. Um, it, it's been, I, I literally just reinstalled it on my computer. Um, and what I like to do periodically is revisit this game because I kind of like doing the festivals. I like doing the housing and you know it just every now and then I, I just want to come back here and try it again because it's cool because I like this game I always have fun trying to remember the controls too and I love the horses I have all kinds of horses um, at least with this this uh, is my Hobbit character and there's a few that are in particular favorites of mine for her relative to the way she dresses but uh, Let's see, this one, I'm the Steed, yes, the Summer Festival that year. This one, I'm not quite sure why I like it, because it's orange, and that's really strange of me, but okay, you know. Um, and I have outfits that go with each of these horses, oddly enough. So, um, basically, what am I doing in here? What am I doing in here today? I am just kind of bouncing around in here today, taking a look. Um, let's go ahead and put her in her roaming around costume where she's just sort of being herself she's not out doing any work she's got no weapons on her because today I decided that she needs a new house so today we are going shopping now I have already done a video showing a deluxe hobbit home so I've decided is that she's gonna go shopping today in the land of the elves and we're gonna get an elven home and see what we can do with it uh, it's been a while since I've done this but I think I remember what's next. So the first step is to pick a neighborhood and every neighborhood has the same setup of houses, the same number of houses, all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of like just pick one and see what's there uh, because there's only a certain number a number of the small homesteads, the deluxe homesteads, and the kinship houses. And you're not going to really know what's available till you get in there. So that is the first step. And what we're looking for is things that have signs like this right here. Okay, so One Haven Way is available. And let me see if I remember. Yes, this is what the neighborhoods are set up like. Okay. So you have your main entrance area, you have various roadways, and you can tell where the deluxe and the kinship houses are because they're slightly bigger in the sketch. You also have a central area where there's a place to throw parties, a place to get supplies, and there's also now places where you can go and put your tasks. And you guys probably all know this because y'all are playing, I'm, I'm not playing regularly anymore. So there's a whole bunch of stuff I don't know. But So this property right here, if I click on the for sale sign, um, it is a standard house. It costs one gold coin, which I have. I do run quests periodically to make sure I keep the coinage um, because I'll buy a house, I'll decorate it, and then I'll, I'll let it lapse and all my stuff returns to the characters because I have many characters. I have a couple of different accounts so I can store all the stuff. I even steal my husband's account periodically so I can use his stuff to decorate. But uh, all right, this house has 32 interior hooks five exterior hooks, and of course the standard um, shared housing storage. So this is the small version of the elven home. Now one of the reasons I haven't done a lot of elven homes over the ages of this game for me, um, although I love the, decor the, the way the exterior here is, the trees are gorgeous in the elf lands, and I love that. I cannot tell a lot. I love that. The houses themselves, though, come with so much ornateness built in that there is a part of me that always is like, okay, I kind of want to take it down a notch sometimes. So I have a little trouble decorating these uh, in that I feel like they come with so much decoration already. And then sometimes the way the hooks are laid out is not great. So, but hopefully they'll fix that in an update this year. This is the main room. It comes with a built-in fireplace, which is kind of neat. I do like the colors in the fireplace, which is great because you can't change them. Um, there are two chances to change the walls. I can't remember if the hallway gets the upstairs wall change or the downstairs. This is the upstairs room. There are only two rooms in this 
size of a standard cottage, both in the human, the hobbit, the dwarf, and of course here in the elf lands. So this is the second room. Okay, not a whole lot, not a whole lot, but when you're starting out in this game, it's, it gives you access to additional storage, gives you something to test out the housing with, and if you're part of a kinship and you can go and use the kinship house for storage, and some of your stuff is in the kinship house, then this is this could be enough. This could be just enough. This standard house is great. That's that's a good thing. So now I want to go find a deluxe house that is. Oh, and this is just so you know. As I pass this house, you see, it tells me whose home it is. You can check out other people's houses. I gotta remember how to drive here. Now it'll tell me if I can or cannot. I do not have permissions to go and look in this person's house. You can choose as a as a homeowner to make your house. Uh, available for public viewing or not. The outside always is. You can see this person has put some statues here. Um, and you can buy stuff on the market, so it's not always easy to tell what level the person is. Ah, this person has left their home open. Let's take a quick look in here. This is a deluxe house, so this is the next level house. This person has put up some decorations. They may still be accumulating items. Uh, you can, as I was starting to say, buy items on the auction market. So it's not always easy to tell what level this person is or where they've been based on the contents of their home because, well, they might have purchased them, not necessarily gone out and won them, which is kind of, you know, cool because it means that if you're a person who likes to do the housing decoration, you can get going as fast as your budget will allow and not be dependent on necessarily getting all the way through the game, which is great for someone like me. Um, because although I do have a level 100 character, the games get monotonous and I stop wanting to play, And but there's more stuff to get further on for housing, so I get torn. Um, based on what I'm seeing here, I'd say this person is, is on their budget at this point, but that's just me. So that is the deluxe home. It has the upstairs bedroom, two side rooms off the main hall. That is a really cool house. And that person does have some neat stuff in there too. I think they're gonna do well there. And that, whose house is that? Give me the name back. Can I have the name back? I have to hit it just right, I think. I'm gonna back away from the house and then go back up to the house. Home of Tokenux, Three Haven Way. Very nice, Tokenux. Good location. One of the things I like to look for is houses that are somewhat tucked away. So this looks like another standard house. Yeah, another standard house. This this neighborhood might be full up. I have I, I there are times when it is difficult for me to find what I'm looking for, um, and I tend to be picky about location. I know that sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? It sounds ridiculous, but I do tend to be picky about location. So let's take a quick look. I think this, what is this one? Tell me who owns this. Tell me who owns this. Okay, I'm doing a little dance as I back up and walk in again. Because this looks... Let's see, can I get in? This is not giving me any response whatsoever. I wonder if this is a, a home that is, uh, I like these bird baths. That is, uh, it's owing some rent. It might be owing some rent. But what I would like to find and show you is a kinship house. Is that a deluxe? Or a standard. Why can't I tell by looking? I should probably be wearing my glasses. But let me find a, a, a kinship house. We'll go tour that, and then I will find a home that we will pick up today and decorate. All right. So I have found a kinship house that is available for touring so this is home of mithril order and they have got some stuff out i haven't been in yet so i don't know what we're going to find but they have got some stuff on the outside they have the stage the mushroom ring which i think is cool the mushroom tent 
I know hobbits love mushrooms personally. I, I'm not a mushroom lover. I'm sorry, hobbits. They have a hobbit guard. Definitely a hobbit theme going on on the outside. The festival table, the, the, the harvest festival. I like that. And Le Fountain of Le Boars. We'll call that Boars. All right. Um, it's a nice treeage going on, too. I like it. Okay, so let's go on inside and see how they have tricked out the inside, but also just see the layout. So we have the main hall. Oh, one of my favorite carpets is in here. Um, it looks like they've got some wallpaper up. I love the geode. All right, let's go off to the right first. This is a small room. Oh, it looks like they've got some of the decoration wallpaper up. And is this another guard? Statue of Kendeth. Oh, I hadn't seen that before. That's cool. All right, so we go up here. The kinship houses are pretty big. Um, so there's a lot of little rooms like this one compared to the smaller houses. And then you have a room here. And what is that? And that? Oh, I don't know how well it's going to go out because this room is really dark, but there's some nasty, smoggy, smoky stuff in there, so we're leaving that room. So that is the upstairs of the Elven Kinship House. <laughs> hmm. And I have decorated the Kinship House before, but I never was completely satisfied with it, so I didn't make a video of it. Um, there's a lot of places to put things, but it just never felt quite right. So this is the main hall of the Kinship House. It's a fairly large area. Um, with a stage. The placement of furniture gets tricky in here, which is part of the reason I've never been satisfied with my builds in there. And then there's this room off to the side, which, ah, a keg. I can see why one would put a keg in here. Kegs are precious. And so that, that is, that is the, um, Falathlorn Elves Kinship House. So now I need to go find a house for me today. And then I will do it up. And here we are at 6 Fairwood Lane, the new home of Silverpoint, a lovely deluxe home in the uh, Falthorn Homesteads, which is fabulous. And I have been poking around a bit and I have discovered that the hook system has changed a little bit. I don't know fully to what extent, but initially there's these big boxes. So let's go ahead and put something down in one of these big boxes. The hook at the top is normal. And we always had a slide bar to kind of do some rotation, I think. But those other two bars, I'm not sure what they are. And obviously, they don't apply in this instance. Um, I like the boxes because it gives me a better sense of where things can go inside the framework that Lord of the Rings gives us for property. So that's really, really cool. I like that. Um, we'll have to see if there's more changes. There's more in that, you know, this little thing when you go to hook the furniture on there's two more bars there I think and we'll have to see when and how they apply they haven't applied to these two pieces they gotta come up at some point though now I've grabbed some stuff out of my bank account and stuff from furniture there's some scattered across different characters that I have on different accounts so um, I'll have to pull them out and we'll start decorating but of course we have to start by putting down our guard dog every home's got to have a guard dog so we have one and of course put them on a little angle because everything is a little better at an angle I don't know why I don't like them square on I like them at an angle so yeah this is our new homestead now the property management screens for Lord of the Rings are very straightforward they allow you to look at the property and set permissions for based on kinship or relationship. This is where you decide whether or not someone can actually come and tour your property too, just to take a look and see what you've done. You also get to go ahead and pay your rent, as it were. Um, you can pay it as far in advance or as little as, much as you want. You can play it in mithril or in gold. So those screens are very useful. Let's take a look at the inside. I am curious to see what the boxes look like. Oh, yes. I like it. And they're different colors. I wonder if they're different colors. They're probably different colors because they're each different. Well, some's floor, some are small, some are large, some are special furniture. So assuming they haven't changed what each of these squares can contain, they're probably color-coded as well, but just... I can now clearly see where things can go. So 
hooks I might have missed. I now see clearly. I like this. I like these boxes. This, this is a good thing. So let's see what it looks like to put something down in the house and try and find out what those extra bars meant. Let's try placing this piece. It's a special piece of furniture, so it goes in this... Oh! Oh! Oh, yes! It actually goes beyond... So it can go... Oh, went up and down! Oh my god, I could make this table hobbit height. Because it's too big for a hobbit, you know? It really is. But if I can put it into the floor... I can make it hobbit height. Oh, oh, this could be so much fun. I can now t push things. I bet I could put a table and chair together properly. I bet you I could do that. Oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So here is an exercise I've always wanted to be able to do. I want to make a bed fit, but a particular bed. There's all the Roharim furniture, which I really like. So I have the sleigh bed. So I don't want it turned this way. I want it to come off the wall. And then I want it to be better proportioned for a hobbit. So let's play with some of these slide bars we've now got. Okay, we can take it out. I don't want to take it off the wall. I don't want to put it in the wall, but it's cool that I could because I could probably imagine the time at some point when I'd want to. This particular bedroom, I don't think it needs to go any more left or right, but I definitely want to get it. Does that look about? Let's, I wish I wish I could turn. I'm sitting here trying to turn my head as if I can look around the bed while it's on the screen. That's not really how it works, is it, folks? But look at that. That looks a little more hobbit height now, doesn't it? <laughs> I do. I like these new revised hooks. And it stays. And it doesn't look so bad. You, I mean, I know it's in the floor that it could be taller. And I put a different flooring down. But I think it kind of works. Oh, I do. I think it does indeed. Oh, I like this. I like this lots. Now, doesn't that look much more proportional to the dwarf? I mean, excuse me, to the hobbit. Obviously, this is an elven home. It's going to have tall ceilings. I'm okay with that. That's good. But the furniture, if she were to really move in here, the furniture would be scaled to fit her, as well as some being scaled to fit her guests. So I'm excited by the idea that I can use some of these new furniture mechanics to accomplish a feeling that would fit that, that concept of hobbit-sized and elven-sized all in one go. Now, of course, she is a hobbit, She's going to always be prepared to feed her guests. So we got to make sure we put some tasting foodie tables down. And I have several of them. They go in the large furniture slot. So we have this spot. Now, of course, we got to put it on an angle. Not all the way around, though, I think. I think I want to keep the basket in the front. So we have a nice tasting table with some snacks. Now, this is where I start getting into just because I can do a thing doesn't mean I have to do a thing. Just because I can slide it doesn't mean that, that I'm going to. In this case, I do want to put it more against the wall because I want to end up with rooms that feel like people could move through them. If I put something where every hook is, the room gets so crowded. Yep, that kind of works. I like that. All right, folks, I think that's going to be it for this video. This is Little Daffodil saying thank you, as always, for joining me. Uh, keep your eye out for more casual Lord of the Rings online gameplay as I keep working on this home. Hobbit slash Elven home? <laughs> I'll see you in the next one, folks.